Hello my boy, okay, um, I'll go over those um, putting videos uh, this evening and then send you some stuff. What, I don't know, what is that laser thing? I need to know what that laser thing was. I wasn't really sure what was going on there. Um, but I'm sure it will provide a bit more. Uh, okay, so I need to do some swing work this week, please. Um, and obviously we've got to look at these tee balls. Um, so I need to know if you are using your new three wood off the tee. You said you're only using three wood. Is it the new three wood? Um, I see the misses on equi sort of left and right. That's more of sort of the swing stuff that we're trying to do. Um, and then we've got to just try and some drivers. And we'll stop being scared of this driver, right? So three major things we've got to work through in this month. Okay, very slowly we see how it goes. Right, so the first thing is that right leg, not allowing that right leg to straighten and over rotate. Okay, so don't let the shoulders flatten out and the club get across the line. Okay, I've said to you before, often it looks long. It's often not past parallel. It's just so far across the line. Okay, so we just want to resist this right leg. Okay, when you reach that point where you feel tension, that's fine. We'll check how much shoulder turn we have. We only need 90 degrees. Okay, maybe a touch more with the driver. We don't need more. Anything else more than that, if you lose this angle, it's just a waste of time. It actually it actually costs you uh, distance, okay, because you lose tension in your body. And then obviously to return the club uh, consistently to the back of the ball is just too difficult. Okay, so number one, strongly in the right leg in the right hip, so don't let it straighten and don't over rotate. Okay, as you reach that point of tension, stop. All right, so stop. Yes, okay. From there, it's still club face. So our next move there, yes, your weight shift will be fine, so don't worry about that. Okay, so you'll shift weight naturally. So as you shift, feel that face close, like that. Okay, and then from there, we need to extend. So we don't want to release the club low and left. Okay, we don't want to release the club low and left. Shut the face, extend through the hitting area. Okay, so those are three things we're going to work on. All right. The back swing of the right leg is just going to take uh, concentration and discipline. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need you to feel a bit of tension in there, so also maybe don't do too many balls so you don't injure yourself. But you should feel tension somewhere, hamstring, maybe uh, glute, maybe back, somewhere. There will be some bit of tension. Okay, that's fine. Let's just work on it slowly. So do, you know, three swings at a time, and if you feel something, just sort of loosen it out, stretch it out if you have to. Okay, any depending on where it is. Okay, and then another three and so we go. Okay, we've got to learn to load that right leg better. Okay, obviously we work on the face and it is a lot better, so it's not a huge thing. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, so then our secondary big focus is going to be this extension. Okay, so I want you to really, really, really work on where the ball is starting. Okay, so maybe... Okay, get an alignment stick either... Either stick it in the ground on the start line or just lie in front of you. Okay, for now, try and start the ball right. So obviously aim correctly, but try and start the ball just a smidgen right of the alignment stick. Or if it's here, start it just right of the alignment stick. Okay, and then the second drill I want you to do, you can do this with all the clubs. I want you to do a little hold off drill. Okay, really what I want in this hold-off draw is I want both arms to stay straight. Okay, now you can incorporate the hold-off draw into your uh, warm-up as well, but you also got in some balls doing it. Okay, so the big thing I want is I want you to hit that golf ball. Okay, and I want the arms to be straight. Don't let the arms collapse at all. Don't let them go left. Okay, left of target at all. Okay, if you still release the club and you finish in this sort of L shape, that's also fine. Okay, but it, let's hit balls there or there. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, again, because of the effect, depends how hard you hit them, okay, but because of the deceleration and the stress, okay, this part of the golf swing here, okay, is really all about injury prevention. Okay, so again, maybe don't hit too many at first like that, Hit a few and just see how you feel, take little breaks, and we'll discuss 
How are you feeling physically that are you able to continue doing those or continue pushing it? Okay, because it's easier doing those drills than standing there religiously trying to do it and you're not really sure and then when I review the videos it's not enough. Okay, just do the drills. It's going to create a lot of, a um, lot more consistency in terms of your flight pattern and your start line. Okay, but it's also going to create a little bit more of a dynamic golf swing. So um, that's a real, real positive thing we can look forward to. Okay, got all of that. I will talk to you in the next couple of days. And let's work hard this week, yeah.